Yum. Namaste and welcome. So today we are going to work on Anahat, our heart center. So come to a comfortable seated position, find your base, lift your shoulders up, back and down, open your chest, crown to the sky, long neck, and take a deep inhalation and a long exhalation. Let go of any thought, any tension, and just focus on the present moment. Breathing in and out through the nose. Connecting with your energy center. Slowly bring palms to your chest. Breathing in to three ohms. Om. 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 Gently open your eyes. So, Anahat, our heart center, in the middle of the chest is our heart space. Its Bija Mantra is Yam. So, we are going to chant Yam a few times in order to connect with this chakra. Breathing in. Yum. 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 Last time. Yum. And stay with this vibration in your heart. Feel the vibration starting from the heart and expanding in all directions, keeping your chest open, shoulders relaxed, chin parallel to the floor. Slowly extend your arms on the mat, inhale, raise your arms up, exhale, lower. Start activating your arm muscles, your shoulders. Exhale. Now inhale to really push the air up. Exhale to push 
all the way down. Bring the awareness to your middle finger so that you can keep your arms straight and active. Last time, deep inhale and long exhale. Now place your hands on your knees. We're going to do seated Marjorie Asana. Inhale to open your chest, moving forward. Exhale, curve your spine, moving back. In, out. In, out. In, out. Last time. Return to the center and start making big circles in one direction. Take up all the space you need to warm up the spine. Opposite direction. And slowly return to the center. So we are going to do shoulders breath to activate the upper part of our body. So we will inhale and exhale through the nose. When we inhale, we lift the arms up. And when we exhale, thumb in, we draw the elbows to the rib cage. Let's begin. Last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Hold your breath in for a few seconds. And exhale, exhale, exhale to release. You can rest your hands on your mat. Deep inhale. And long exhale. Three recovery breaths here. And return to your natural breath. Notice the openness in your chest. Shoulders are active. The energy is flowing. Now 
and let's do a second round so again get ready for a second cycle of um, shoulder breathing so inhale up exhale down let's begin Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Hold your breath in. And slowly exhale, exhale, exhale. Release your arms. Three recovery breaths here. and slowly return to your natural breath make your way to all fours hands on the shoulders knees on the hips so let's focus on our wrists for a moment so hands facing out and shift your weight from left to right so warming up the wrist before we start our asana practice it will help reduce pain tension in the wrist and practice in a more safe setting arms back to the front inhale to lift your left arm up exhale to lower your left shoulder rest your left ear on the mat if you can you can stay here using your right hand to support the pose and the shoulder stretch or you can extend your right hand out to deepen the stretch try to keep the hips in line so try not to collapse on your left hip Slowly walk your right hand back, inhale to lift, exhale to release. Other side, inhale, lift your right arm up, exhale to shoulder stretch. Option two, extend your left arm to the front. Deep inhale. A long exhale. Feel this beautiful stretch in your right shoulder. Trying to keep the hips in line so don't collapse. You can always use your left hand to balance the weight, the pressure on your right shoulder. So by pressing your hand, you release stress on the shoulder. And slowly walk your left hand back. Push to come up, release, and back to all fours. Now we're going to enter puppy pose 
So basically keeping the hips in line with the knees, we try to slowly extend. We can place, so extend your arms to the front, keeping your hips up. So keeping both arms and palms active, so you're not collapsing here. And just using the breath to soften. To sink a bit. To really open your heart center. Let's go for three yum here. Yum. 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 Slowly press your hands. Walk your hands back. Finding tabletop position. Tuck your toes and come into your first downward facing dog with your knees bent, spreading your fingers, tailbone to the sky, heart towards the mat. And slowly walk your feet between your hands. Uttanasana. We still have our knees bent here. Resting the belly on the thighs. And then from here, Keep your hands on the mat or place your hands under your knees to lengthen the spine for a moment in Ardha Uttanasana. Long spine, long neck, shoulders away from you. Exhale to lower Uttanasana. And inhale to come all the way up. Urdhvastasana, slight back bend, and exhale to Namaskara Mudra. And release your arms, Tadasana. So, we are going to do a couple of rounds of breath of joy. This is a beautiful breathing technique that I enjoy very much. It's, uh, it's really uplifting. And you can do this anytime you feel a bit low in energy, maybe a bit down, a bit sad. It, it really lifts you up. It really cheers you up. It's so good for you. So basically what we do, we're going to break our inhalation into three parts. So inhale, 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 and then on the exhalation, you bend your knees and you drop arms, belly, and head. And then again, inhale, 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 and exhale to drop. So we're going to do this very fast or medium pace, um, medium pace, um, So we are going to do this. Uh, let's get ready. So feet in line with your knees, in line with your hips. And let's begin.
and exhale, drop everything, stay here in Uttanasana. Slowly unroll your spine and come to standing, palms facing up. Take a moment to return to your natural breath and stay here with this beautiful sensation of well-being. The chest is open, you feel taller, you feel more stable, open to the universe, ready to welcome the change. Let's go for a second round. We're going to do 10 breaths of joy. Let's begin. And on the last one, stay in Uttanasana, bending your knees, bending your arms if you want. And then slowly inhale to come to standing, palms facing out. Take a deep inhalation and a long exhalation to return to your natural breath feel your heartbeat returning to normal feel the sensations in your hands in your thighs in your shoulders, in your belly, in your chest. Then from here, inhale to Urdhvastasana, slight back bend. Exhale to Uttanasana. Step back, find your downward facing dog, pressing your hands. Trying to extend your hamstrings, heels towards the mat. Breathing into Anahat, your heart center. Three, yum here. Yum. 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 Inhale to lift your right leg up. Exhale to step between your hands. Drop your left knee, lengthening the spine first. Finding your lower lunge and then inhale to raise your arms up. Exhale, interlock your fingers behind your, your head. Inhale to open your chest to the sky. Slight back bend. Exhale, stay here. Try not to collapse in your hips. The base is super strong. Breathing into Anahat. I welcome the universe. Inhale to open your arms. 
exhale to lower, step back, downward facing dog, big, big stretch. Inhale to lift your left leg up. Exhale to step between your hands. Drop your right knee. Lengthening the spine first. Look front. Left heel in line with your left knee. And from here, once you're stable, inhale to raise your arms. Exhale to interlock your fingers behind your head. Inhale to lift your crown up, chest to the sky. Exhale, opening yourself to the universe. Breathing in and out. Finding ease in the pose. Inhale to release your arms. Exhale to lower. Step back. Find your Palakasana. Plank. Three breaths here. And you can lower on your knees or without using your knees. Forehead on the mat, hands on the shoulders. Draw your elbows in. Inhale to lift your shoulder blades back. Open your chest, Bhujangasana, opening your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big stretch. Now inhale into plank. Widen your feet on the mat. So reaching the two opposite corners of your mat. And from here, turn your heels to the left. Open to Vasistasana. Keeping the core engaged, right hand reaching to the sky. You can look up or you can look front if you have any tension in your neck. Breathing in and out. So side plank. We're using our core strength. We're using, we're pushing with, with our left arm at shoulders. We're not collapsing. And slowly exhale, lower your knees, big toes together, find your balasana. Three yum here. Yum. 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 Slowly come to tabletop position, just to tuck your toes, 
find your downward, downward facing dog, stretch your back. Inhale, exhale. And then inhale into plank, finding your alignment. Wrist on the shoulders, core engaged, active legs, active arms. And then widen your feet on the mat, reaching the opposite corners. And then drop your heels to the right. Lift your left arm up. Inhale and exhale. Variation of Vashistasana. Keeping the core engaged. Opening to the world. And exhale, lower your hand, lower your knees, big toes touching, find your balasana. Three yum here. Yum. Yum. Come to all fours. Cross your ankles, make your way to seated. Finding comfort in your seated position with your legs crossed. And we're going to do Kaki Chakrasana. Basically what we do, we inhale in the center and exhale to the side. Inhale in the center, exhale to the side. So basically what we do is uh, tapping. So we are going to tap during our twist. Last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale in the center. Hold your breath in. And slowly exhale to release the arms. Take three recovery breaths.
and gently return to your natural breath. We're going to do a second round of Kati Chakrasana. So this is a great technique to boost our immune system, to work on the thymus gland and to release all the toxins through the generous twist on both sides. Uh, so let's begin. Open your arms, inhale and exhale to start tapping. Recovery breath. And slowly return to your natural breath. From here, extend your left leg out, right leg in. Keeping your left foot super active, both sitting bones touching the ground. We're going to do Janusirsasana. So first dynamic, and then we'll stay for five breaths. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale to gently fold forward, so don't overdo. Inhale up, long extension in the spine. Exhale to lower, keeping your left foot super active. So foot is flexed. Exhale to lower. Inhale to come up, deep extension and exhale to stay for five breaths. So slowly entering the pose, finding your measure, option to keep your hands on your shin or on, on the side of your leg. Just find comfort here. Observe your own stretch, which is unique. There is no judgment at all. Just use the breath to soften your boundaries, to, to explore these blockages we've got. Tuning in with your own energy. When you feel it is a bit too much or there is too much tension in your hamstrings, you can decrease the intensity, maybe 10%, maybe 
just follow your own body, listen to your own inner voice. The body speaks to you. Slowly walk your hands back, lengthening the spine for a moment. And now from here, we are going to press our right hand on the mat in order to lift our hips up and open the chest. And exhale to lower. Once again, push your hand to lift your hips. Open your chest to the sky and exhale. Once again, inhale and exhale. And the last time, inhale and exhale. Back to the center. One breath here, and then release your right leg out. Take your left foot in for Janusisasana on this side. First, straighten your back, crown to the sky, base to the earth. We'll do it dynamically. So inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale to lower. Inhale up, long spine. Exhale to lower. Last inhalation, exhale to stay. Find comfort in the pose. Feel the extension in your hamstrings. Carefully tune in with your body. Five breaths here. Inhale to slowly come up. And exhale to rest for a moment with your spine straight. And then push your left hand on the mat, lift your hips, open to the side, open your chest. And exhale to lower. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, one last time, inhale, open the chest, soak up this beautiful energy into your heart and exhale to lower, 
to back to sitting. From here, draw both knees to your chest to lengthen the spine for a moment. And then I'm going to turn around so you can see left heel down, right foot over trying to keep both sitting bones on the mat and really pressing the big toe and um, the whole front part of your right foot okay from here inhale to raise your arms up to keep a long spine Exhale to hug your thighs towards your belly. Use your right hand to support your spine and deepen that twist. Look over your right shoulder. Breathing in and out. and slowly release release your legs and find the other side so right heel on the mat left foot over right knee first we find the alignment so sitting bones touching on the mat inhale to long spine and exhale to twist use your left hand to really support your spine crown to the sky feeling that length in your neck look over your left shoulder And slowly release the pose. Bring your feet together. Hold your feet, interlocking your fingers. Inhale in Baddha Konasana, butterfly pose. Exhale to widen your arms and rest here. Taking advantage of gravity. Three yum here. Yum. 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 Slowly, slowly, slowly come up. Use your hands to close your knees. Hug your knees towards your chest. Length the spine.
and slowly lower on your back, keeping your knees bent. Place your left hand on your belly, right hand on your anahat, your heart space. And from here we are going to do Vilom Pranayam. So we will break the inhalation into three, breathing in in the belly, the rib cage and the chest, and just a very long exhalation. So inhalation into three parts, exhalation, fully, fully, fully exhale all the way down to your pelvic floor. So let's begin five rounds of Vilom Pranayam. Last round. Release your hands on the mat. Take a deep inhalation. Long exhalation through the nose. Once again. And notice the movement in your lower back. When you inhale, your lower spine lifts slightly. As you exhale, your lower spine touches the mat. And then slowly return to your natural breath. Just stay with the sensation of openness and well-being. Lengthen your legs on the mat. Palms facing up. Take all the space you need to make the most of your Shavasana. Let the breath go. Completely relax your body from crown to toes and from toes to crown. Relax your feet. Relax your ankles. Completely relax your calves, relax your knee joints, relax your thighs, soften your hips, soften the belly, completely relax your rib cage, relax your chest, which is the space of Anahat, your heart center. Completely relax your shoulders. Relax your arms, your elbows, your wrists, your palms, your fingers. Relax your neck and your throat, relax your chin, relax the jaw, 
unclench your teeth, relax your tongue, completely relax your face muscles. Relax the space between your eyebrows. This is Akya, your third eye, the place of intuition. And visualize a green light entering through your third eye and reaching on a heart, your heart center. And from here, expanding in all directions. Your whole body is completely relaxed. Your mind is still. Shavasana. Slowly return to the present moment. Return to your breath. Return to your body. Take a deep inhalation and a long exhalation. Start moving your toes, your fingers, ankles, wrists, giving your body a very gentle stretch, reconnecting with your muscles, reconnecting with your tissue, reconnecting with yourself. Slowly bend your knees, Bring arms overhead and whenever you're ready, make your way to the right side so that you can leave your heart space open. And just stay here for one last moment to soak up this sensation of enormous well-being. Take a deep breath in and feel grateful for your practice, for your energy. And remember that your energy is always there, available for you. All you need to do is just tap into it. Slowly make your way to seated with your legs crossed, keeping your eyes closed. Bring your palms to your chest and we'll close this practice with Om and Trishanti. Breathing in. Om Shanti 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 Namaste